Well, if beauty was the only requirement to enter the Miss Universe Canada pageant, then Jenna Talakova would never have had a problem. Today, a week after being disqualified for being transgendered, she's back in the competition, or so it seems. The CBC's Chris Brown explains. I am a woman. Jenna Talakova wants everyone to know she's the real deal. While she started off life as a male, today has proved she produced her Canadian passport. It does show that it says female. As she took her story straight to Hollywood, where the media played it big. I have never asked for any special consideration. I only wanted to compete. The 23-year-old was booted out of the Miss Universe Canada pageant last month because organizers deemed she was not a naturally born woman. I was devastated and I felt that excluding me for the reason that they had gave was unjust. In reply, the six-foot-one blonde beauty went out and hired a hotshot Hollywood lawyer, Gloria Allred, who today went after the king of the Miss Universe franchise, billionaire Donald Trump. She did not ask Mr. Trump to prove that he is a naturally born man. It made no difference to her. Why should it have made a difference to him? Talakova says she's never tried to hide her past as a man. She gave this interview last year. I started my therapy and hormone therapy when I was 14. Okay. And then I went through with the surgery when I was 19. Trump's Miss Universe organizers actually appeared to relent somewhat yesterday, agreeing Talakova could compete as long as she meets the gender recognition requirements of Canada, whatever that means. Will he eliminate this abhorrent rule or not? Watching it all from Vancouver is lawyer Barbara Finley, who's championed gay, lesbian and transgendered causes since the 70s. She's struck by how many people here have sided with Talakova. The public support for trans people has kept pace with the changes in the law, and that's really great. Still, after all that, it's not clear what's going to happen. Talakova didn't specifically say she would be competing at next month's pageant, and there's been no further clarification from the organizers of Miss Universe Canada. Chris Brown, CBC News, Vancouver.